So over time, you're buying up a bunch of shares of stock and then it's time to sell and take a gain of profit. Congratulations, that's a great thing. But before you do that, make sure you're taking advantage of minimizing the taxes that you're gonna owe on those gains by using something called the tax lot strategy. I'm excited to share this with you today. This is something I wish I learned about years ago but for whatever reason didn't. Now we're talking about taxable brokerage accounts, your everyday investment account. We're not talking about retirement accounts or any type of tax sheltered account. We're talking about your basic brokerage account. Now I'm not a licensed CPA or a tax professional. So depending on your personal finance situation, make sure you check with a certified person to make sure you have everything squared away. I'm just some random guy on YouTube. Let's get right down to it. Before we talk about the tax lot strategy, let's talk about the different ways you're taxed when you sell shares of stock. There's either the short term or long-term period, and that can range drastically. Let's say for the purposes of today's video, just a general example, let's say you fall in the 22% tax bracket. Now the 22% is your ordinary tax or income tax rate. If you buy a share of stock and you sell that same share of stock or ETF in less than one year, you will owe your full tax rate. In this case, in this example, it would be 22% or whatever your tax rate is. But in this example, 22% because it's called a short-term hold. Now, if you held that particular share of stock for longer than one year, it becomes a long-term capital gain. And the long-term capital gain actually has a bit of a discount in most cases. And that discount in this example would be 15%. Now, let's say for example, you're ready to sell some shares of stock. For whatever reason, you're profiting, that's great. Or let's say you're financially independent and you're living off your portfolio. This is critical because this is an opportunity to lower your tax burden at the end of the year simply by how you're living off of your portfolio. Let me show you my examples from some of my own holdings. Now I have typically ETFs. We're talking VTI, things like that, uh, QQQM, whatever. It doesn't matter what you own. You can do this with single individual stocks or with ETFs. What you'd be looking for is something that looks similar to this. This is the lot details. And what it's looking at is every single time that you purchased a share of the ETF or the stock. It also accounts for any dividends that were reinvested. But what's very cool about this, in this case, it's, it's telling me my holding period. So that's great because I can see this is short term. If I scroll down here, I enter long term. Did you know that you could actually self-select what lot to sell? Now, if I sold four shares in a, a FIFO method, it would sell the very first four shares I ever purchased. Now look down here. For this particular account, I purchased on 829 2022 and it currently holds a 4.26% gain. So I would owe taxes on that gain, that gain amount. I don't owe taxes on the entire amount, only on the profit, which is located right here. Now in this case, it's not a whole lot of money, but what I could do if I sell by lot is say, no, don't sell this one. Come up here and let's sell these four shares. Because these four shares purchased on December 2nd, 2022 are actually in the negative. See, at the end of the day, if you're gonna sell either way and just say, I need to sell four shares, why not pick and choose what four shares you're gonna sell? Because if you're in a taxable brokerage account, wouldn't you wanna take advantage of tax loss harvesting by having that negative versus just selling the very first four and having a gain right off the bat, right at the beginning of the year that you then have to deal with taxes in the future. And especially if that's a ton of profit, if you're cashing out and let's say I have a thousand, even $10,000 of capital gain of profit, that's a lot of money to be paying taxes on. So what you need to do is go into your brokerage and look for this example, look for the opportunity of can I sell by lot and not just randomly sell like we typically do. Don't you wish you would have learned this a long time ago? I hope this is interesting and if it is, comment down below. And if you don't think it's interesting yet, Let's make it more interesting with this particular calculator right here. Now, all my Patreon members are gonna have access to this Excel template right over there. Thank you for your support on Patreon. If you're not a Patreon member and you wanna be, link in the description below, but let me simulate something that's super interesting with the tax lot strategy. So if we look at VTI, for example, I'm gonna give you two examples where we sell something long-term and short-term, and we're gonna see what kind of taxes are owed. This is gonna blow your mind because when I plug this all in, it blew my mind. So in the first in first out method, if I would just go in and say, I wanna sell 10 shares of VTI right now, it would go through and calculate right down here for my very first transaction, basically, my very, very first purchase of VTI, and it would take off 10 shares of this right here. 
But if you look over here, look at the overall gain of these overall 16 shares. That's over $1,000. That's a lot of money, even if we only sell 10 of those 16 shares. But because it is long term, I will get the discount of 15% tax rate and not 22. But let's plug this in. So if we come over here, the cost per share that I actually paid when I initially bought this back in June of 2022 was $188.16 per share. Now, the current price of VTI is $249.77 as of the recording of this video. Definitely a beautiful price improvement. My shares sold, I'm going to sell 10 of these shares and my tax rate will be 15% because it's on long term. Now, as you can see here, look at this. My taxes due will be $92.42. Keep that in mind. Discounted rate, that's what we got. In the tax lot strategy, I could come up here and pick and choose what 10 shares I would like to sell. And it doesn't matter which one, I could come up here and just say, hey, you know what? That last purchase back here in the end of January of 2024, let's go ahead and sell 10 of those shares, not the one way down here in June of 2022. Especially if I have a year where I think my tax rate's gonna be high or I have a lot of taxable events, this comes particularly handy to sell by lot number. So up here, let's say for example, I'm gonna sell 10 of these and I choose the lot. Now, here's the difference. Right off, we're gonna have to say that it's now a 22% tax rate because it's a short-term holding period, all right? So 22%, we're gonna be paying more percentage-wise on taxes, but we're gonna sell the same 10 shares, okay? The cost per share in this case was a total of $242.38, and the current price is again $249.77. So look at the taxes due, you ready? Look at my taxes due, $16. Now, that's the whole big thing about this video. 16 bucks in taxes versus $92 in taxes. And all I did, all I did in this entire scenario is just choose what type of shares to sell. You know, that's the whole thing with some of these brokerages that will just do first in, first out. You just gotta keep in mind if you're in a taxable situation, you're going to get that, you know, yeah, even though you're getting a 15% discounted tax rate, because the gain is so much higher on that, you're going to have a higher amount of taxes due. And see, if you're strategic with it, someday you can sell those shares, but maybe that'll be when taxes aren't as high for you, or you don't have as many taxable events going on in your life. This could be an incredibly exciting opportunity for you to reduce your overall tax bill. And guess what that means? That means you're, you're actually keeping more of the money that you grew over the years. We all want to keep as much money as possible, right? And this is a great way to do it. I mean, the fact that uh, I'm keeping, the fact that I'm saving $76 in taxes is a huge deal. And remember, I, I get the same amount back either way. 10 shares at $249.77. If you need to, you pull out your handy calculator, you do $249.77 times 10 shares. So I'm getting $2,497 back in each of these cases. The difference would be the taxes owed and the difference would be the tax lot strategy. In the case of Charles Schwab, for example, this isn't affiliated with them, but what I would do is I'd actually come down here, see how it says cost-based method first in, first out. In the case that we do these 10 shares that we were simulating, we don't want the first in, first out because of obvious reasons that we just displayed in the Excel. So we click on this and then it lets you do the tax lot optimizer or you can do specific lots where it lets you pick what lot you want to select. It's totally your call and we can go and select the one that we just talked about. I want to sell 10 of this one right here. Okay, thanks. And it'll do that for you. So that's the beauty of taking advantage of how you sell your shares of stock. If this video was helpful, make sure you share it with others. Check out this video next and we'll see you on the next video.